Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today we're hopping back into this little uh, making slingshots series, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna be making a ton of these because my game Slingshot Simulator is gonna need every bit of help it can get. And uh, I, I looked around, I was gonna pay a few people, like, hey, uh, hire people to make them. And then I'm like, bro, that's not gonna help me get any better and I have to spend money. And I'm trying to get better with that. Like, if I can do it myself, I don't want to hire somebody to do it if that makes sense bro like i don't got that kind of money to waste anyways today we're going to try to make at least three more slingshots i think that's a pretty good spot to call it for a video if we're doing them quickly though i'm definitely down to make a few more now i do want to give a huge shout out to kingerman 89 he made some concept art here we have a toy slingshot this guy which is really cool i'm not exactly sure what he was going for but i like the idea and i might try to make that one today but i'm definitely going to be doing the legos or the toy slingshot and the origami slingshot first now i think the origami one we're going to be able to cheat on pretty well so check this out i'm going to duplicate this guy all right move him over and i think if I add a decimate modifier and then scale it along the X axis or no, the Y axis, it will look pretty good and pretty origami like. So check this out. We're going to move these down until we get all triangles and pretty sharp edges. So something kind of like this, maybe even a little more, something like this, something like this. I want to keep that little bend in the handle. And then I'm going to do S and Y scale it in a little bit. Nice. And all that's going to happen with this one is mainly going to be the coloring of it. So let's go ahead and apply this. Now we can go into here and start messing around with some colors. So we also did change the, the middle one. Instead of having pencils connect it, we did one of those long erasers. I thought that that would be a, a cool little idea. So this will have these guys go over to like red. Why not? that'll work uh i wish there was like a brighter red honestly but we're gonna have to just kind of work with what we have this right here maybe this guy too no not that guy because we'll connect all of those together uh we'll drag those to a pink because why not or no they probably shouldn't be on like the same colors so like reds and pinks nah let's bring those to like gold there we go these guys will fold that guy under and bring those to a blue because why not and then grab this guy oh we are missing the whole back uh let's go ahead or we'll change it on both sides i think that'll be cool so now we can go back this can be a pink there we go we can go back to the yellows or the greens where'd my uh oh where'd it go there we go let's make that green we'll make all of this uh minus that one we'll make this orange that'll work and then this one we're gonna go back to that yellow color i think that looks pretty good now check it out guys this does it kind of looks like an origami slingshot of course we have a bit more to do so let's grab this and go to green i think that looks pretty cool uh i do want to have more yellow in here so let's go back to that and this guy right here needs a color and that needs a color I think we're going to use the same color for these two here. We'll go to like this bluish color. And then right here, we can go to a... We'll go back to pink. So there we go, guys. The origami slingshot. Very, very easy. Very simple and done. So that was a very fast slingshot. Let's go ahead and move on to what we're going to do next. And I think the toy slingshot is a great fantastical magical idea now he even has this is like pretty pretty nicely labeled out the band would be a rubber band of course we won't be having bands in the game simply because i i don't know how you would animate that or like if it would have to be like i don't know mesh deformation or i don't even know how all that that works so we're not doing bands at least yet unless i get a really talented scripter but check it out he has legos we have a popsicle stick and i don't know what the middle piece is so i'm not sure and he said it would shoot marbles i really appreciate this like pretty detailed uh concept art i genuinely appreciate it a lot but we're gonna start out with the popsicle stick and for that i think i'm gonna use a cube and scale it in so we'll do s y nice and easy like that and gonna grab our face select mode bring this top face up like so and we're gonna make this a popsicle stick so if we just grab the sides here and here and these sides as well of course and bevel those with control b that should give us a popsicle stick look i would say that looks pretty pretty dang close to a popsicle stick uh, we're gonna do s and x so s x scale that in a little bit and i think that will resemble a popsicle stick just a little bit better um we're gonna go over here a s zero 
and G oh, on this side though and make that kind of a popsicle stick color. Let's go something down here. I like these lighter shades looking pretty good. Now add a material onto that, a boom, image texture, yes, and em Emphaza. I, I always forget how to say his name. I appreciate that guy though. Very good 3D modeler. <laughs> now, what is he using for this little uh, this little bend in the middle here? We have this green guy, and I'm not sure exactly what it is, but uh, maybe we'll just make it Legos, I guess. <laughs> that might work. So let's go ahead and make a Lego, guys. We are in object mode. We're going to grab a cube. We're going to scale this out on the x-axis. I think something like that looks pretty good. Now we can scale it down on Z. And it does not need to be that thick at all. So we'll go on the y-axis. Something like that should work pretty well. So we're going to move this guy right up here. And then we're going to go ahead and make our little studs for the top of it. Shift A, grab a cylinder. We're going to move that down to 6. It's already on 6. There we go. And this can be scaled down so, so much. All right, so I think something along that size should work pretty good. They can be down just a bit more. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do S and Z just to make them a little bit more flat. And now I'm just going to fill up the top of this little Lego brick with these little studs. All right, so they're all pretty evenly spaced. I am going to grab all the studs now and give them one final adjustment. Let's unclick these right here. I don't think that worked at all. Let's go to wireframe mode. Select only this top stuff. That also didn't work at all. <laughs> Solid view. There we go. Back into object mode. And we're going to grab all of these. And I think I'm just going to scale them down a hair. I think that'll be the best way to go about it. They also might be a little too close together now that I'm thinking about it. So let's just hope for the best. Scale. Down. There we go. I think that looks all right. There's definitely a lot of them. Let me go ahead and join those with this. There we go. And that kind of is looking like a Lego brick. Let's go over here. S, zero, and this can be green. That's what they had it at. I don't want to change it up too much. I think that looks pretty good. Nice. Let's add an image texture right here and make sure we have Emphesia's Emphesa? I don't even know, guys. And then I want to add a little bit of a bevel as well. Um, let's just try to add it to all of this at once. Um, we don't need that much of a bevel, so listen. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try the modifier itself and hope it does a little bit better. So it did okay. Uh, I think with Shade Smooth, it'll look all right. I think the only other way we could really go about doing it is kind of individually. So first things first, we'll get the brick itself and bevel that. Something, no, we're gonna have to do each line by itself. So probably like these lines together. Wait, aren't Legos sharp? <laughs> when you step on them, it hurts. <laughs> Guys, we're not beveling. <laughs> we're, we're keeping it how it is. All right, we're keeping it how it is. Let's go ahead and duplicate this. I have a little bit of an idea. Let's go into wireframe mode, face select mode as well. We're still in object. There we go. And let's just kind of get rid of a lot of this here. Boom. I do not actually want the top face of this. Oh no, what did I do? What did I do? All right, grab this. We, we don't want to get rid of that. And I think we're okay to go ahead and delete. Now we're going to do a bit more. Delete all of these guys. Don't need them. Nice. And these two here we can delete as well. Perfect. Now all we have to do is be on our face like mode. Grab this face down here, make it lined up so we have a perfect square little Lego over here. And we might stack these up and make all of them different colors just to kind of give that that good look. Let's go to material preview. Nice. Gonna hold L on this and all of these. All right. Let's bring this guy down. So it's stacked up real nice. And we will go to blue. All right. That's looking good, guys. So we have this right here. Let's duplicate it. Boom. Should we like do offsets a little bit? So like this Lego would be like on this half. I think we should probably do that. And then we'll stretch like a couple here. Yeah, I'm going to try that. Okay, listen. So since you're not going to be able to see the studs anyways. Oh no, but we still want different colors. 
Alright guys, so this is kind of how we have it set up. I'm going to select randomly just a few blocks and change the colors just like that. So, let's grab these and these can go with a yellow. Now let's go grab a few other blocks like that. I'm going very random here as well guys. Kind of messed that one up. Whoops. Something like this should work. Let's go over here, grab everything like so and grab this. We'll go orange. Why not? And these inner blocks like this, we will make a pink. All right. So guys, here is our Lego, our popsicle stick Lego thing. All right. Now I'm going to move this out a bit because it's not, it's not where it should be. Okay. And I'm going to move this one out as well and change the color of this top piece because two oranges on the top together don't exactly fit my fancy. So let's go back to that green. Actually, I think that'd be a great idea. Um, yeah, this looks pretty good to me. I can definitely tell what it is. So there we go. Two of them are done. Now the third and final one for today is going to be, hmm, let me group this together. There we go. The final one for today. Let's see. What am I thinking here? All right, guys, for the last one, I'm going to try my favorite one on the picture, except I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it justice based on what he was actually going for. Uh, I can't exactly tell what's going on. I want to go with this one right here. We have some scrap metal, a bent wrench, a metal coil, a block of wood. Uh, I I'm going to try. I'm just going to try. So let me just... Let me just go for it. Let's get the handle first. This will be our scrap metal. Um, I am going to make a few loop cuts like so. And we could probably bevel a few of the edges. Or even... Yeah, we'll bevel a few of the edges. So I'm going to bevel this like so. It's going to give it a bit of a dented look. Let's add a loop cut here in the middle. Something like that. Bring that in a little bit. Scale it. It doesn't have to be that far in. All right, so I have like some sort of weird kind of kind of dude thing right here. He said scrap metal, so I just wanted to make it look, you know, a bit used, w abused, weirdly torn up, stuff like that. Let me go ahead and add a few more bevels in random spots. I could probably throw one on the side here towards the bottom. So I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. All right, there we go. So that's pretty sick. Up next, we have that weird wrench type thing um let's try to make that all right guys i think that is going to be that one it doesn't look at all as cool as the picture did which kind of sucks but i think it'll be okay i'm gonna add a little bit of a bevel that's just gonna give a few of the sides a little bit of a character i guess this is kind of a wood plank this we're gonna just call this the makeshift slingshot i guess I, I really don't know let's group that all together so it's one thing we got that one already got that one and all right we're good guys here is the first six slingshots of course not in order because a it's whatever like they're gonna be in order when i make the actual game but let me know what you think about this series and if you want to see more episodes make sure to like comment and subscribe comment your slingshot ideas down below or join my discord and there is a channel called slingshot concept art or ideas so greatly appreciate any help thank you so much for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe have a great day later